Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Stokes theorem part 2. In session 1, we have verified Stokes theorem for a given f vector bounded by the cube. And in this session also, we are going to deal with a cube problem. Verify Stokes theorem for a given f vector. Always we take the given f vector as step 1. S is the open open surface of the cube formed by the lines x equal to plus or minus a, y equal to plus or minus a and z is equal to plus or minus a and it is cut open at z equal to minus a. We know that x equal to plus or minus a is front back, y equal to plus or minus a is right left and z equal to plus or minus a is top bottom. Here z equal to minus a is cut open that means my bottom side of the cube is cut open. Let us have the visualization. You can see the cube. Just for understanding, I am marking the points and these are all not necessary. And the bottom surface of the cube is cut open. So, it has five surfaces. S1, S2 front back, S3, S4 right left and S5 the top. Done. Now, let us fill the limit. The lower limits are going to be x equal to minus a, y equal to minus a and z equal to minus a. Then the upper limits are going to be x equal to a, y equal to a and z equal to a. Done. Next step 3, we are going to verify Stokes theorem. So, write down the statement of the Stokes theorem. Closed integral over c f vector dot dr vector is equal to double integral over s del cross f vector dot n cap ds. As we well, we do RHS first, then we go for LHS. For this, first we need del cross f vector, that is curl, then using the table we found n cap etc etc. Now let us find del cross f. For a given f vector, we have to find curl f vector or del cross f vector. It is simply i, j, k. For del, the second row is going to be dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z. An f vector, we can see from the question y square z, z square x and x square y. So, we can fill it very easily. Now, we have to expand this. Del cross f vector is going to be i vector dou by dou y x square y minus dou by dou z of z square x. Similarly, minus j vector into dou by dou x of x square y minus dou by dou z of y square z. In the similar way, we get k. Now, simplifying each term, differentiating x square y with respect to y partially, we will be getting x square. Second term is going to be 2z x. Here, minus j vector differentiation of x square y is going to be 2xy minus y square. For k, we will be having z square minus 2yz. Now, multiplying this minus inside, we will be getting y square minus 2xy. Finally, we can write this as x square minus 2x z i vector plus y square minus 2xy j vector z square minus 2y z k vector. Next, we have to evaluate all the five surfaces, front, back, right, left and top. We can write one by one. Next, we are going to calculate the double integral. Now, it has five surfaces. From the figure, we can see front and back. So, this is going to be x equal to minus a and this equation is going to be x equal to a. So, s1, s2, front and back. Similarly, we have right and left. This is going to be y equal to a and here this is y equal to minus a. And finally, we have the top. That is, finally, we have the top z equal to a. This z equal to minus a that was cut open. So, only we have five surfaces. Now, let us form the table and we can find the double integral in a very simplified way. Write the del cross f. So, it has seven columns and six rows because we have only five surfaces. Surface, face, equation, n cap, del cross f vector dot n cap, values and ds. Now, fill the surfaces s1 to s5. Then, faces are front, back, right, left, top. As usual, the equations are going to be x, x, y, y, z. For front, right, top, fill the upper limits. For back and left, fill the lower limits. Done. You can just go back to the previous visualization and you can understand how this comes. Next, we have to write the 
unit outward normal vector x equal to a is the direction we have i vector and x equal to minus a is traveling in the opposite direction so minus i vector similarly for y equal to a the direction is j minus a the direction is minus j vector z equal to a the direction is k vector simply what we do i i j j k k and we write plus minus plus minus plus now it's time to compute del cross f vector dot n cap del cross f is available here n cap is available here so del cross f vector dot n cap is going to be x square minus 2xz and for the second one minus i vector we have minus of x square minus 2xz similarly for the s3 we have y square minus 2xy minus of y square minus 2xy and s5 we have z square minus 2yz now it's time to substitute the values in del cross f vector dot n cap when i substitute the equation x equal to a a square minus 2az when i substitute x equal to minus a minus a whole square is simply a square here x equal to minus a minus into minus plus will be having 2az similarly when i substitute y equal to a i'll be getting a square minus 2ax when i substitute y equal to minus a will be getting minus of a square plus 2ax when i substitute z equal to a will be getting a square minus 2a y in the surface s1 s2 you see the equations are x equal to a and minus a that is front back so we have to write the limits for y and z dy dz similarly for right left we have did y so we are going to write dx dz and for top we used z equal to a we have dx dy done now as usual i said we should not solve individually i am going to club s1 s2 s3 s4 for simplicity so that i can get the rhs very easily now from the table we can take the values of s1 s2 it is going to be double integral minus a to a a square minus 2a z minus a square plus 2a z we can see this a square a square will get cancel and we have minus 4a z now i can take this minus 4a outside and then integrating z with respect to dz will be getting z square by 2 Two. When I substitute the upper limit, we'll be getting a square minus. When I substitute the lower limit, minus a whole square is also a square. So a square minus a square is zero. In the similar way, we are going to make double integral over s three plus s four also zero. When I add a square, a square get cancelled. We'll be having minus four a x. Now from the table. S3 value is a square minus 2ax. S4 value is minus half a square plus 2ax. Simplifying this, a square a square get cancel and we will get minus 4ax. Now taking this minus 4a outside, integrating x with respect to dx will be getting minus 4a minus a to a x square by 2. The limits from minus a to a. When I substitute the limit, my upper limit is a, so a square. My lower limit is minus a whole square, so we get a square minus a square. So it is going to be zero. Therefore, my surface three plus surface four double integral is going to be zero. Only s five is left out. Now from the table, the value is going to be a square minus two a y, and the limits are x and y. Now let us write the limit minus a to a a square minus. 2ay dy dx or dx dy. Since y is there, I just write dy dx first. Now integrating this, we'll be getting a square y minus 2ay square by 2. I'll cancel 2 2, and I can simplify like this. Now substituting the upper and lower limit, we'll be getting a square into a minus a into a square. Then substituting the lower limit, a square into minus a minus a into minus a whole square. dx now simplifying this we'll be getting a cube minus a cube minus minus a cube minus a cube so this two will get cancel so we will be getting minus of minus 2a cube minus into minus plus so take this 2a cube outside now integrating this we'll be getting x the limit is a to minus a to a so 2a cube a minus of minus a minus into minus plus 2a cube a plus a so we'll be getting 4a power 
done therefore my rhs is going to be 4a power 4 next we have to prove the lhs is also 4a power 4 find lhs we need a closed line integral f vector dot dr vector let us prepare f vector dot dr vector and then we can go for the closed line integral f vector is this and we know r vector is xi plus yj plus zk vector so dr vector is dx i vector plus dyj vector plus dz k vector then f vector dot dr vector is very obvious i can directly write like this and i can easily get f vector dot dr vector next things in the question it is very clear the simple closed curve we left is at equal to minus a as open therefore we have to take at the plane z equal to minus a and d is at equal to 0 i'll convert this three variables into two variable substituting d is at 0 and z equal to minus a so this term is going to get diminished and we will be getting minus a y square dx plus a square x dy then next we have to go to the figure the bottom surface is left out i am going to zoom the bottom surface alone x y this is the surface now i am going to calculate the line integral over this lines so first we have to do the directions we mark the anti clockwise direction so at x axis we have the lower limit of y that is y equal to minus a at y axis we have the lower value that is x equal to minus a for your understanding i am telling in terms of lower limit and upper limit that's it now this line is going to be y equal to a because it is parallel to y equal to minus a similarly this is going to be x equal to plus a so once you fill these equations next labeling is going to be very easy students i am going to label the four vertices i am going to name this as o a b c so o the vertices are x comma y i can just copy from here minus a minus a for a it is going to be a comma minus a here a comma a and for c minus a comma a then so the image is very important for lhs this is mandatory if you don't draw the image you mislead and you get some errors okay now the closed line integral is going to be from 0 to a a to b b to c and c to o therefore integral over c is nothing but integrating along o a a b b c and c o so let us write this f vector dot dr vector which we get from the previous slides along o a see the image along o a this is the line y equal to minus a is the equation fixed so dy equal to 0 so since y is fixed we have x limit the limit is going to be minus a to a because the direction is from o to a so x limit is minus a to plus a let us write the equation and limit substitute the values here when you substitute dy equal to 0 this is 0 put y equal to minus a we'll get minus a minus a whole square dx so minus a cube dx along the line o a we have minus a to a minus a cube dx i'll take this minus outside and integrating dx will be getting x minus a to a so substituting the limit will be getting a minus of minus a so minus into minus plus minus a cube a plus a is 2a so the answer is minus 2a power 4 you can see the typed version here so along oa my answer is minus 2a power 4 next we have to find along ab along ab you can see this is the line and the direction is going to be from a to b and the fixed equation is x equal to a so dx equal to 0 since x is fixed we are going to get the y limit my y limit starting from a and ending at b so y equal to minus a to y equal to a write the equation and limit substituting dx equal to 0 this term get diminishes x equal to a will be getting a cube dy integral over ab is minus a to a just now we found this is a cube dy taking a cube outside integration of dy is y limits minus a to a so a cube a minus of minus a it is going to be a cube into a plus a 
therefore the solution is 2a power 4 so along the line a b the line integral is 2a power 4 next we have to calculate for the line bc the direction is from b to c and here y is constant it is fixed y equal to a so dy equal to 0 therefore it has x limits so the direction is from b to c therefore the limit is from a to minus a you should be careful here because of the direction it is moving from b to c at b x value is a here at the point c x value is minus a now substituting this will be getting minus a into a square dx that is minus a cube dx along the line bc the limit is a to minus a minus a cube dx take this minus a cube integrating this you will be getting x a to minus a so minus a cube upper limit is minus a minus lower limit is plus a so we will be getting minus a cube minus 2a minus into minus plus 2a power 4 this is my solution students now we have finally along co along the line co the direction is from c to o and x equal to minus a is fixed so dx equal to 0 now it is going to be y limit y equal to a to minus a because the direction is from c to o here the value of y is a and at o it is minus a then write the equations and limit substituting here this term is 0 a square into x value is minus a so minus a cube along the line c o we have a to minus a minus a cube dy integrating this minus a cube y a to minus a so minus a cube upper limit is minus a minus lower limit is plus a simplifying this we will be getting minus a whole cube minus 2a therefore my solution is 2a power 4 so now we found all the lines along oa a b b c and c o let us add everything so we'll be getting minus 2a power 4 remaining the three terms are 2a power 4 respectively now i can cancel this two and my final solution is going to be 4a power 4 therefore my rhs is also 4a power 4 lhs is also 4a power 4 hence stokes theorem is verified for the given f vector thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye